the Battle of Boom Plus was fought near Jaegers Fontaine at 29 degrees 50 minutes 53.47 seconds south 25 degrees 38 minutes 56.54 seconds east 29.8481861 degrees south 25.6490389 degrees east minus 29.8481861 25.6490389 on 29, August 1848 between the British and the Boers. The British were led by Sir Harry Smith, while the Boers were led by Andrews Pretorius. The British were victorious after one Boer opened fire too early and betrayed their position. Background Sir Harry Smith assumed the role of Governor of the Cape in 1847 and began to unravel the work of the previous Governor Sir Peregrine Maitland who had reached agreements with the Basotho and the Greek leaders which would help maintain British control of the region between the Vaal and Orange rivers. Smith declared to the Greek leader Adam Park that all rent of their land to colonists would be given to the British Crown as opposed to the Greek leaders getting half of it while at the meeting with Basado King Moshushu. He declared while the white farmers would remain on the land in the area, the hereditary land rights of the native chiefs in the area would be maintained after a proclamation of the proposed Orange River sovereignty. The Boers had an interest in land that stretched from Poshefström to Winberg and beyond. Smith had assured Andres Pretorius that he would not proclaim the land between the two rivers as British until the views of the Boers had been consulted and if less than 80% of them were in favour of the British action. Smith said he would not proceed with the proclamation. This Boer consultation period was never able to be completed by Pretorius without consulting the Vortrekkers concerning their interests in the territory. Sir Harry Smith annexed the land between the Vaal and Orange Rivers in Drakensberg on 3 February 1848 as British, calling it the Orange River Sovereignty. The Boers in Winburg upset by the British action appealed to Pretorius for help regain their independence and by June 1848 he raised a commando of around 1,000 men. Pretorius responded by advancing on Winburg and ran the British magistrate Thomas Biddulph out of town and declared a republic. He then proceeded to chase away other British magistrates before he then headed to Bloemfontein where the British resident Major Henry Warden was installed with 70 men of the Cape Corps. He appealed for help from the Basogo King Moshushu I, but he remained neutral, so Warden retreated from Bloemfontein to the Orange River. Smith issued orders for a British force to be formed by Colonel George Buller and it reached King William's town by 28 July and then left on 4 August, after other units joined him and proceeded to Colesburg where more units joined as did Sir Harry Smith. By 25 August 1848, the British force had arrived at the Orange River crossing point. Reports came to Smith that the Boer commando were within 16 kilometres of the river crossing and were being watched by Boer patrols and when the British crossed the river by 26 August and opposed headed in the direction of Bloemfontein while Pretorius her commando repositioned to oppose them around Boomplatz. Order of Battle British Sir Harry Smith 4 Companies Cape Mounted Rifles 2 Companies Rifle Brigade 2 Companies 45th Regiment 2 Companies 91st Highlanders Regiment 3 Field Guns Royal Artillery Sappers Unit Medical Unit 200 to 250 Greek was Andres Waterbore and Adam Cock. Boers, Commandant General Andres Pretorius 300 to 500 Boer Commandos. Battle. On the morning of 29 August 1848, the British column stopped at a farm at Taufontein for their morning meal and at this time Sir Harry Smith was told that Pretorius a force was 19 kilometres away on low hills behind which was a river, across which was a farm called Boomplatz and a higher range behind it with the road heading through a pass. By early afternoon, British forces arrived at a flat plain in front of Pretorius a location in the hills and with Smith leading a reconnaissance party to a ridge where they were surprised by the Boers. 
He divided his forces for an attack with his left flank consisting of the Cape Mounted Rifles, the 45th Regiment in the centre and the Rifle Brigade on the right flank while 91st Regiment became his reserve. The 45th Regiment came under heavy fire but achieved their objectives when the reserve was called into a system. The Rifle Brigade on the right flank would also take their objectives. The Boers attempted to round the British left flank and attack the wagon train in the rear but were stopped by the Cape Mounted Rifles and the Boer Hill positions taken. The battle was said to have lasted about four hours with the Boers moving from ridge to ridge before Pretorius forces retreated toward Winburg. The British forces followed for a few kilometres before darkness fell and continued the following day but the Boers were gone. A field hospital was set up later at the Boomplatz farmhouse for the casualties sustained in the fighting. Aftermath, or casualties are recorded in memorials as nine killed and seven wounded while a British government notice of the time records the rebel casualties as 49 killed and possibly 150 wounded. British memorials record 16 killed and while other records mention as many as 45 wounded and 6 Greek was killed though and a high number of unrecorded wounded. Pretorius now retreated to safety to the lands across the Vaal River with a bounty of 1,000 liras announced for his capture while Henry Warden returned to Bloemfontein as the British resident. Due to limited financial and military resources available to British in the Orange River sovereignty they struggled to maintain control of the boundaries in this territory and saw the possibility of the Boers being used to maintain the security of the remaining British colonies if latter controlled them. By the 17th of January 1852, the Sand River Convention was signed by William S. Hogger and C.M. Owen on behalf of the British and Andrews Pretorius on behalf of the Vortrekkers that resulted in the creation of a Boer Republic north of the Vaal River and the eventual South African Republic. Negotiations concerning the Orange River sovereignty soon followed. On 23 February 1854, the Bloemfontein Convention was signed between the British government and Josias Hoffman and six former Vortrekkers that resulted in the British recognizing the territory between the Vaal and Orange Rivers as an independent territory and would eventually become the Boer Orange Free State Republic.